It's Christmas time again. Decorations are going up, music fills the air. Somehow, in spite of all of our struggles, a smile seems to go across our face when we think of this joyous time. It's also a time when we seem to think a little bit more about pleasing others, our, our purchase of that special Christmas gift, or, you know, did, did we buy too much, especially for the little ones. Did I buy too much, or was it just about right, or, well, maybe I better get that one more thing. You know, or for a special person, maybe that, that special Christmas gift. Did we spend too much? Did we not spend not enough? Were we too gaudy? And for those hosting a, a, a big family get together meal, did we fix the right foods? Is everybody happy? Did we decorate our house just right? Well, pleasing others is just part of our human nature. Right? We, we want to be liked. We want others to think well of us, to approve of what we're doing. And then when somebody criticizes us, no matter how well-meaning that criticism is, sometimes we're just really sensitive to that and we get really upset. Oh, what I did or who I am isn't just right. You know, I think it's a real struggle for most of us. Well, we're in a series on chasing carrots and pursuing the approval of others can turn into an addiction, just like being addicted to drugs. We just, we just gotta keep, we keep trying and trying and trying, and, and it's just another way that we can struggle with chasing carrots in our lives. The desire to, to please others can turn into that downward spiral that just tears our life apart. It eats our way at our inner being. Now, I know I struggle with pleasing others. You know, as, as pastor, it seems to be especially difficult to try to say all the right things and do all the right things. And, and I, I, I struggle with that. And, it, and then if somebody says, well, that sermon wasn't, wasn't your best, was it? You know, you just feel crushed because of all the work you put into it. And then there's that, well, I, you don't want to say no, especially to a special person or someone you really like, they want you to do something. And maybe you're overloaded at that time. And, what you really want to say is just, no, I don't think so, but we, we want to please them. Well, when we focus on pursuing others, we can slide into this trap of taking our focus away from God. Our life can grow disorganized without real purpose and no clear objectives. And that's why one of our core values at Calamo is loving God. When we focus on loving God, we fill our hearts with that peace that passes all human understanding that leads to true joy and happiness. We're continuing in a series at Calmo about chasing carrots, chasing those things that we think of that will bring us happiness, but are really they're just traps that pull us off track. And chasing the approval of others is just one of the ways that we can chase those carrots. Check out our message this week at Calamo. Our worship service premieres at 9 o'clock on Facebook. Our in-person worship uh, it starts at 10 o'clock. And so are you struggling? Would you like for us to pray for you? Our prayer team is just standing by. You can email them at prayerteam, that's one word, at calmochurch.org. Or maybe you'd just like to sit and talk or, or share a struggle or something. Well, I'd love to share a cup of coffee and just talk. Um, you can call or text me at 517-588-8415. You can check us out at Calmo at our Facebook page, which is at Calmo1953, or on our webpage, which is calmochurch.org. You can also contact us by the online connection card at calmochurch.org forward slash connect dash with dash Calamo. I'm your neighbor Jerry and pastor at Calmo Church. Have a blessed day and have a blessed week and bye for now.